so children we are going to start with our revision session so in revision we will start with our first chapter that is matter so let's start now yes now as we have completed two chapters in science so first we will start with the chapter number 1 matter now do you remember children what was the first topic in matter yes it was states of matter now as i told you earlier also there are three states of matter solids liquids and gases so first we will start with solids what are solids now can you see the diagram over here yes in solids there are the tiny particles which are very very closely packed these tiny particles they are also called as molecules so these molecules or tiny particles they are very very closely packed in solids therefore the solids they are having fixed shape and here can you see the space is there that is called as intermolecular space so here in solid the intermolecular space is also very very less so the particles in solids are packed very closely solid substances have a fixed shape and hard to touch examples here are bicycle cap pencil table and chair we can change the shape of some solid by applying force now second is liquid so here in diagram can you see these molecules or tiny particles they are moving away from each other and the intermolecular space is now increased so therefore the liquids they do not have fixed shape the particles in a liquid are not packed very closely liquids therefore do not have fixed shape they can easily flow and take the shape of the container examples water milk juice and oil next is gases now here in the figure can you see children here the tiny particles now they are moving away from each other and they are very very loosely packed and the intermolecular space created between them is also now more so the particles in gas are packed very loosely gases also do not have fixed shape example oxygen carbon dioxide water vapor steam etc now next the next topic was changing states of matter now in changing states of matter what happen children the one state of matter it changes from one state to another yes so here we have taken the example of ice which is in solid state and this ice is converted into water which is in liquid state after heating so that process is called as melting now water can be again converted into ice after cooling that process is called as freezing now here water can be converted into water vapor which is in gaseous state after heating that process is called as boiling and this water vapor again it can be converted into water which is uh, which process is that that is the condensation yes so this is about the changing states of matter now the next topic it was the water cycle now water cycle it was the best example of changing states of matter now what is water cycle children here in water cycle there are many processes first process is evaporation and transpiration with the help of evaporation and transpiration the water gets evaporated and it get mixed into the air and there 
after cooling of this water vapor the, the that process is called as condensation now after condensation what happens it forms the cloud and when these clouds it become very heavy due to water droplets the these water droplets they, it comes down in the form of rain that process is called as precipitation so this water cycle is a beautiful example very important example of changing states of matter so what is the definition of water cycle children the continuous process in nature by which water changes from one state to another is known as water cycle so here we completed the first chapter now we will start the revision of second chapter that is chapter number 2 reproduction of plants Hello students, how are you all? Okay, now we will continue with our second chapter. So here are some examples I have taken from your worksheet to explain you. And rest of the questions, you will solve it on your own. And if you have any doubt, you can take the help of the videos. Okay now, so fill in the blanks. We will see some fill in the blanks of second chapter. Okay, so the first fill in the blank is... The style dash and dash forms the female part of the flower. Okay, now, so there are three organs we have studied which consist of the female part of the flower. The so one name is given. Which name is given? Style. So, another two name is stigma and ovary. Yes, very good. So, in the given dash, we have to write down stigma and ovary. Now, the next blank is most flower turns into dash. So most of the flowers will turn into fruit. Yes, very good. So in the dash we have to write down fruit. Okay. Okay students, yes, students. now we will solve true and false. The first true and false is dispersal of seed is also done by wind. Okay, so we have to write down whether the given statement is true or false. So, is dispersal done by wind? Yes, there are various methods by which dispersal is done. And one of the method is by wind. So, the given statement is true. So, we will write down true in the given dash. Okay, now the second one is a fruit contain only one seed. So, all the fruits are having only one seed? No, they can have few seeds or many seeds. So, this given statement is wrong, means false. So, in the given dash, we have to write down false. Okay. Okay, students. Okay, students. So, the next question is of hots. Now, you have to think and give answer of the given question. So, let us see the example. Now, the first question is, If you want to grow a new plant, which are the three things that you have to provide to the seed? Okay? So, now you have to think that if you want to plant, then... Which three things you are going to give to the seed? So, which three things are important for the seeds to grow into a plant? That you have to write down. So, number one is air. Number two is warmth. And number three is water. Yes. So, you can write answer on your own. But the answer should have a proper sentence formation. And the three important things. The three important things you have to mention in the answer is air, warmth and water. Okay now, let us see another example. That 
you have to write down the example of two plants which do not bear flower. Yes, this question is from your did you know. So, from your did you know I have taken this question. You have to write down the answer for this question. So, which two plants that do not bear flower? These two plants are fern and pine. So, that you have to write down in your answer. Okay. Okay, students. Okay, students. I hope you are understood. And you have to complete your worksheet. Here we have taken some examples to explain you how to do your worksheet. Rest of the worksheet you have to solve it on your own. And if you have any doubt, you can refer the videos of the chapter. Understand and then solve the worksheet. Okay students, bye bye and take care.